place for solar energy. We really wanted to, to be active here when the opportunity opened up in South Africa. We have seen a development where the global market for one year was installed here in nine months. This is a remarkable achievement. And this has truly been a great day for solar energy. What we're doing here today is probably one of the best examples of how Norwegian, a Norwegian company, Norwegian businesses can lead the way and work with local and international partners in an area which is crucial to the development of not only South Africa but this region and uh, the world as such. <laughs> I have a lot of feelings uh, today. First of all, I'm extremely proud of being part of this project, that we saw the opportunity and it, we were able to build and to actually complete this project connected. And we have done it in a very professional way. I mean, we are three months ahead of schedule and we are below budget. And we have built this with basically people that had never built a solar park, but we had no accidents at the plant over the almost 1 million uh, hours of work that has been put into this project. So I'm very happy about that and I'm very happy on behalf of solar industry that we can demonstrate all the cost competitiveness of the technology here in this ideal place. I've been uh, running Skartik Solar worldwide from South Africa for the past year. I wanted to be very close to this first major project to make sure that we delivered on time and became the first you know, to be connected. We knew that we would have a lot of South Africans on the project, but would, that it would be actually 98, 99%, I wouldn't have guessed in my wildest dreams. So I think that you know, the people here managed to uh, understand the technology, understand the skills, to work this out and, and, and transform it into this plant that you see here. We're the first for many of the suppliers. So it's the first time some of the sub-suppliers have provided that kind of product. It's the first for our, many of our South African colleagues had not been in renewables before. It's the first for Philipstown and the community. Many hundred people have had a first at a job in this project and we are very impressed with the job that they have done. They have uh, installed every module with a three millimeter precision. So that mix of firsts has been a success. It's the first time that the private sector has properly come into the electricity sector and played a meaningful role. And you only have to look at, at how quickly and efficiently all of these projects are getting executed to realize that in fact it should be playing a more meaningful role going forward. So we're moving forward in both respects and um, and obviously this being clean energy uh, makes it a much more compelling and um, uh, important initiative for, for us as a bank. We were very excited with the, the REAP program that the government had announced. Um, Skater came to us, they wanted a, an EPC partner in South Africa um, and they wanted someone who had the horsepower that we have globally. With the government driving the whole process, we had to make sure that we know we we as Mescom, the state-owned company, we actually are enablers for, for all the companies to come in and, and actually uh, export 
power to the grid. I think with the cost of PV coming down, I think renewable energy is critical to this country. We've got such a natural abundance of solar resource and I would actually like to see PV be more than just an ancillary player but actually start to replace some of the base load, start to look at some storage solutions. So I think PV has a really big future, not just in South Africa but in Africa. This project is going to help Scottish Solar be very successful elsewhere in, uh, in Africa. We will uh, sponsor a chair at one of the universities in South Africa, a master's program, a doctor's program, so they can do their research here on this plant. I'm excited that as the Northern Cape we can contribute in this way to the energy in the country. We are the first uh, municipality to have such a big plan operating in South Africa. Up to 600 people benefited in terms of job opportunities. And that is why I said that it was really beneficial to the local communities around the solar farm. Growing up here in Petersville, yeah, local, and uh, I'm doing actually on the moment I'm doing uh, maintenance. I'm hired as a junior electrician by Skate Tech Solar. So I'm actually I'm now actually I'm now uh, I'm offered by a permanent job. Every time when I have to liven up a substation or and I see what what this, what your team did, then it's it's uh, very emotional. It's, for me, it's uh, it's achievement. To see it happening is real. You know, it's not just talk government and we talk to investors about solar projects. It's live, it's happening. And for me, the lesson is discipline. I realized that I was working with people who are extremely disciplined and that had a positive impact in my personal life. The experience has been amazing. It's so nice to get out of Cape Town and do something different. And we're on a flat area in the middle of million solar panels and yeah it's been incredible incredible to see that this, these kind of things are happening and actually to be a part of it. I think one of the greatest things with the IPP program the independent power producer program as well is that it's foreign investment that is paying for our electricity and it's not coming out of the taxpayers pocket which is a major major investment to every one of us in the country so it's a win-win-win-win. I think if you compare this to fracking there's no impact here negative impact on the ground and after the project finished I can still well I'll put in sheep now at the moment into the solar panels so they'll be grazing there to keep the fell short so I'm not losing anything. This opening of this plant is actually very important for Norway as well because of the melting ice and I think you know the world over the next 30 to 50 years are going to see uh, tremendous developments in, in utilization of renewables.